shall we do a couple of examples just so that you know how to apply these things examples okay so you are waiting for a taxi all right so you are standing somewhere uh, you are waiting for a taxi and taxis are arriving according to a Poisson process of rate lambda okay each taxi is is available with probability p and occupied with probability 1 minus p and this is independent of other taxis okay now i am interested in what am i interested in I'm waiting for a taxi right they are coming by according to poisson process right so the time for so i show up at some point this the poisson process is running anyway so the amount of time i would wait until i see a taxi is what is an exponentially distributed random variable with parameter lambda except there's a catch right the taxi that comes first may already be occupied right i want a taxi which is not occupied right so the question is how long do you wait to actually find a taxi which is available so yeah i mean the question is find the expected waiting time and distribution of the waiting time until you find an available taxi. Is the question clear? Yeah. Now, see in this problem, see you can imagine that there is some Poisson process which has been running anyway, <coughs> all right. So, you can say that there is some Poisson process that is running, which is taxis, right. And you say you show up at some time, this is you, okay. You suddenly show up at some time t right and then you start looking for a taxi right the first taxi shows up here it may, may be occupied second taxi may be occupied the third taxi may be available right so then you end up waiting so this uh, may be so let me say this is not available this is not available and that guy is available right i want to find the expected time until you find an available taxi and the distribution of this time all right now as it happens uh, this is see this is a poisson process so this time t can for all practical purpose can be regarded as is can be regarded as zero right because you fix a time t and look ahead what you see is a another Poisson process right because we established that the time until first arrival is an exponential which is independent of everything in the past and all that. So, for all practical purposes this t can be taken as the origin yeah clear. So, now so these are all see all these inter arrival times. So, this guy this is a so, so this is time t right. So, now this guy is so this guy this interval this interval they are all iid exponential lambda right 
right correct why the process is a Poisson process correct so I wait for a certain number of exponential intervals correct so each of these intervals is exponentially distributed at parameter lambda correct and I wait for a certain number of exponential intervals how many exponential intervals do I wait it is also a random variable right so the number of taxis that I have to see before I find a empty taxi or an unoccupied taxi is also a random variable. What kind of a random variable is it? It is a geometric random variable. You see why? See you think of these uh, taxis as being I mean taxi being occupied or not occupied is a success failure trial right it is a Bernoulli trial right. So, success probability is p failure probability is 1 minus p and you are waiting for first success. So, the number of trials before your first success is geometric correct is that clear. So, if I take this as the time z right this z is nothing but the sum of x i's where x i's are the internal arrival times correct. Okay, see, I used z for the first arrival. Maybe I should use some other variables. Let me call this y. Okay, because I use z for the first arrival. You know the the theorem. Maybe I should call this y. Okay, y is equal to i is equal to one to n xi. Now, what is this xi? Xi's are iid exponential with parameter lambda. Correct, and n is See the n is the number of taxis I have to see until I find a unoccupied taxi. This is like the number of trials I have to go through Bernoulli trials I have to go through until I see my first success. So, n is geometric with parameter p correct you know what a geometric random variable pmf is right clear. So, I am interested in calculating the distribution of a geometric sum of iid exponentials ok. Now, you might have seen this uh, in your undergraduate probability course as to how to calculate the distribution of uh, random number of these iid random variables. Now, ok by the way uh, n and x i are independent why? So, whether a taxi is occupied or not occupied is independent of the arrival times right the Poisson process is independent of this occupy occupied non occupied uh, random variable. So, n and x i are independent. So, this is a sum of a random number of exponential random variables where the number n is independent of each of the x i's also correct. So, in an undergraduate probability you might have calculated this I do not know is there, do any of you remember how to do this. You can condition on n is equal to little n and proceed, right. So, what may be called the UG approach, right, not to be insulting to undergraduates, right, right, is to condition on n and proceed. So, you will apply law of total probability. Okay. What I mean is condition on n is equal to little n you will have the y will be Erlang with parameter I mean nth order Erlang right because you see n and then n itself is geometrically distributed you can fight it out you apply law of total probability and fight it out. Okay. I suggest you do this 
okay. So, this uh, what I uh, condescendingly call the undergraduate approach I will leave it to you as homework, okay. But the whole point of this uh, exercise is to if you know your Poisson process you can get it in one stroke, right. Namely that see this occupied and unoccupied is is another way of saying I am splitting the process, right. So, you can view this uh, splitting as so you send it up when the p is the probability of it being available is not it available is probability p. So, you send it up with probability p send it down with 1 minus p right you are waiting for the first arrival in the up process, but the up process is what kind of a process? The Poisson process of rate lambda p, right. So, your time for the first taxi to arrive, which is actually available, which is the first arrival in the top process, is what? Expectation of the time will be 1 by lambda p, and the distribution will be exponential with parameter lambda p. Finished. Right, there is nothing more to it. So, if you did not follow what I spoke out, so this is your original process of taxis, right. So, if it is occupied, you send it down, if it is available, you send it up, okay. See, all the red arrivals will go down. So, the in the in my picture, the first two were not available, right. So, they, they went down, and the third one was available, right. So, that went up. Correct. So, this means available, this means occupied. So, imagine the taxi process is being split, and of course, it is independent of each taxi is independent of the other taxis and it is independent of the inter arrival times, all that is assumed, right. So, essentially, you are waiting for the first arrival in. So, your t was here I think in my picture, it does not matter where t is right, it could just as well be origin as I argued. So, let us say this is my t is actually let us say here. So, I am waiting for some time t till my first arrival in that process, right, correct. But this is a Poisson process of rate lambda p, correct. So, the expected time I wait. is what 1 over lambda p and distribution of waiting time is. So, this is waiting will be exponential p lambda. Okay. So, this is the Poisson splitting approach. Right. So, if you know Poisson processes and uh, splitting and all that, you can get this in one stroke. So, what have you actually shown if you think about it? What have you shown? That you have shown that this guy which is a geometric sum of iid exponentials right you have shown that this guy is also an exponential why correct what you have accomplished by this uh, this argument is that if you sum a geometric number of iid exponential random variables with n being independent of x i, y that results as the sum is, is also an exponential with parameter p lambda, where lambda is the parameter of these exponentials and p is the parameter of the geometric, okay. We have, we have, we have proved that in a very elegant way, right. Of course, you can prove it using this conditioning on n equal to n, write out the Erlang, you know, you can do all that and still you will still get the same answer, okay. You can do it and see, 